Do you think you know the Silence of the Lambs? Well, here's some things you may not have known about Hannibal Lecter, Clary Starling, and Buffalo Bill. I want a window where I can see a tree, or even water. I want to be in a federal institution far away from Dr. Chilton. What did you mean by fledgling killer? Are you saying that he's killed again? I'm offering you a psychological profile in Buffalo Bill based on the case evidence. I'll help you catch him, Clarice. When The Silence of the Lambs novel was first published, author Thomas Harris had the ability to sell the rights to the story to a movie studio. However, virtually no studio was interested as thriller movies were in a financial rut at the time. Eventually, Arthur Krim of Orion Pictures and actor Gene Hackman bought the rights together with Hackman intending to direct and star as Hannibal Lecter. Gene Hackman pulled out of the movie after his daughter read The Silence of the Lambs book called him up and told him, quote, you're not making this movie. Krim bought Hackman's half of the movie rights and put it into production. Michelle Pfeiffer was director Jonathan Demme's initial choice to play the lead, Clarice Starling, but writer Ted Talley wrote the script with Jodie Foster in mind after she campaigned for the part early on. Talley felt casting Foster was a no-brainer as she just won an Oscar for The Accused. Several actors were considered and approached for the role of the villainous serial killer Hannibal Lecter before the role eventually went to Sir Anthony Hopkins. Sean Connery was Demi's first choice, but the actor thought the part was, quote, disgusting and wouldn't dream of playing it after he was sent the script. Other actors who were considered or expressed interest included Derek Jacoby, Daniel Day-Lewis, Dustin Hoffman, and Morgan Freeman. Anthony Hopkins undoubtedly gave a memorable performance as the good Dr. Lecter, enough so that he was nominated for and won the Academy Award for Best Actor in 1992. What's even more impressive is that the cannibalistic doctor is only on screen for about 16 minutes of the movie's entire runtime. This is the second shortest amount of time an actor spent in a movie to earn the Best Actor Oscar, only just being beaten by David Niven in 1958's Separate Tables. Buffalo Bill case file. Copy of the Senator's offer. This offer is non-negotiable and final. Catherine Martin dies, you get nothing. <laughs> Plum Island Animal Disease Research Center. Sounds charming. Speaking of the Oscars, The Silence of the Lambs is only the third film in history to sweep all of the Academy Awards' big five categories, including Best Picture, Director, Actor, Actress, and Screenplay. No film has won all five awards since The Silence of the Lambs. This isn't the first movie to feature Hannibal Lecter. The character first appeared in the 1986 film Manhunter, where he was played by Brian Cox. When producing The Silence of the Lambs, in addition to purchasing the rights to Tom Harris's novel of the same name, the filmmakers had to secure the rights to the name Hannibal Lecter, owned by Manhunter producer Dino De Laurentiis. In the end, De Laurentiis allowed the creators of The Silence of the Lambs to use the character free of charge. The original ending to the film was much more explicit. The theatrical release implies that Hannibal Lecter hunts down and kills his tormentor, Dr. Chilton. Originally, the film was going to end with Lecter already having caught Chilton moments before he murders him and eats his body. Despite giving his blessings to the movie before, during, and after production, author Thomas Harris has never seen The Silence of the Lambs. This is because he's afraid that the performance of the cast would be so good that they would overtake their characters in his mind, and he would be unable to write any of them again without having the actors own the characters. There's a hidden meaning behind Hannibal Lecter's most iconic line. A census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. Lecter's condition could potentially be treated with antidepressant drugs known as MAOIs. However, three of the things that cannot be eaten while taking MAOIs are liver, beans, and wine. Given Lecter's background as a psychiatrist, this could easily be a witty reference to his medical treatment. And here's a bonus one. Brothers John and Al Kaplan created an unauthorized parody musical based on The Silence of the Lambs known as Silence the Musical. The show began as an internet musical, but proved so popular that a stage version was put into production. It rubs the lotion on its skin. It does this whenever it's told. Mr. My family will pay cash. Whatever ransom you're asking for, they'll pay it. It rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. That's it for this episode of You Think You Know Movies. Make sure to subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and get the latest movie and TV news on ScreenCrush.com.